Well, the battle wages on to save the Belle Isle Boathouse. We're following what could be in the future for this iconic building. And it's been through a lot, including fires and flooding, and its unique design makes it tough to restore. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenida with what ha needs to happen to keep the boathouse alive. Ruta? It's an ongoing battle. Does the Belle Isle Boathouse stay or does it go? Well, friends of Detroit Rowing who have been leasing the building for years say this historic building has got to stay. But the DNR says the price tag to do it is just too high. These high school rowers from across Metro Detroit are loading up. <laughs> getting ready for a big rowing competition this weekend. The Bellow Boathouse for them is home base, and it has been home base for rowers young and old since the 1800s. So the Detroit Boat Club crew is the second oldest rowing club in the United States and fourth oldest in the world. Stephen Malbouf has rowed from here for over a decade and is a historian for the boathouse. So it's disheartening for him to hear that the building may be no more. The Michigan DNR says there's just no funds to keep the building. There is no simple fix to this and the, the building is literally falling apart and it's an eyesore on the park. Chief of Parks and Recreation with the DNR, Ron Olson, says the state did receive $23 million in ARPA funds for Bell Isle. They then used that money on public buildings like the conservatory and aquarium, not leaving much else for the boathouse. Does that leave anything for the boathouse? No. It only, the only, we only have probably just shy of just a little bit under $2 million that we carved out. And $2 million, that's just enough to knock the building down. The DNR says to restore it would cost about $50 million, which they just don't have. The Rowing Club is a club. It's a nonprofit. It's not a public program. But to quickly jump to demolition is just... It's insane to me. But Steven says he's getting word from other contractors that it would only take about $25 million to restore this historic building. And so the back and forth battle is on until July when a decision has to be made. The DNR is taking proposals on how to pay for these restorations until the summer. We have more information on how you can submit those on our website, but the Detroit rowing community says they're hoping someone steps up and saves this historic building. In Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News.